African delegations have been touching down at an airbase outside Washington, D.C., ahead of this week's U.S.-Africa Leaders' Summit. During the event, President Joe Biden is expected to announce support for the African Union's admission to the G20 as a permanent member. That move comes after requests from Senegal's President Macky Sall, who chairs the 55-member body, as well as South African President Cyril Ramaphosa. The Biden administration has been criticized by some as inattentive to Africa. That's a common complaint about U.S. foreign policy, but one that rings louder as China deepens its political and economic involvement on the continent. African countries have received huge sums from Beijing over the past decade, lending that the U.S. characterizes as predatory. In November, U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken said Washington would have to do things differently to help Africa with its infrastructure needs. It was time, he said, to stop treating the continent as a subject of geopolitics, rather than a major player on its own.